All right. Welcome back to the to the interview room here at Little Caesars Arena in the 2024 NCAA Midwest Regional. We're joined by the Tennessee Volunteers, 82-75 winners over the Creighton Blue Jays this evening to advance to the Midwest Regional Final against Purdue on Sunday. Please remember to silence your cell phones as a courtesy to the team members and your other media in the room. Please raise your hand for a microphone to be brought to you. And when you do ask a question, please introduce yourself and your media affiliation. And finally, please note that the recording of press conferences on cameras or on cell phones is prohibited throughout the Midwest Regional. From, the le from your left to your right, we are joined by head coach Rick Barnes, Zakai Ziegler, Jemai Meshack, and Josiah Jordan-James. Coach, if you wouldn't mind starting us out with an opening statement, we'll go from there. I, I really thought both teams just played the hearts out, played really hard is what you would expect, obviously, this time of year. And the stuff that uh, Coach McDermott does with his team, I, I tell you, they're extremely, extremely hard team to guard. And um, really proud of the effort defensively. Uh, and again, they uh, do a lot of things that are really difficult. but. Also, you know, we made a run, and this time of year, uh, you expect them to make a run, which they did, And uh, but really proud of the way our guys stayed with each other, did what we had to do, and uh, a great win for our program. And um, these guys up here, I, I just thought they were terrific with uh, a mindset coming in and continuing continue with it throughout the game. Thanks, Coach. Let's go to questions for the student athletes, please. We'll start on the right side in the second row. Get a mic over to you. Rob Lewis with VolQuest.com. Josiah, just as, as a senior, a guy who's been around here for so long, what, what's the personal significance for you for being part of the team that's going to the Elite Eight for just the second time in school history? It's a blessing just to be here. You know, we've put in so much work from, you know, for me for five years and every guy up here since they've been here. And they're great leaders. Um, it's, this is the best group I've ever been around. And so just to have this moment with these guys and making history, uh, we're, we're not done yet. We know that, but we're so happy to be one step closer to our end goal. And it's just, it's just amazing to see all of our hard work finally pay off. We'll go to the first row on the left. Vedant Gupta, Global Comedia. Coach Barnes, over the last few decades, you've coached some incredibly talented teams. But off the court, there's qualities that help a team make a run to the Elite Eight, like this team. What about the character of these young men on this team, on and off the court, make them so great? Well, if, if you were with us every day, I think you'd understand why I still love coaching so much. Because what you see those guys do tonight, I watch them do it every day. And they would tell you that. You know, we, we do. We go at it probably sometimes too hard, but uh, they've embraced it. Each one of these guys in their own way has brought something to our program when we recruited them. But uh, it's, it's their effort. And, again, uh, they demand it from each other. And only the days when they're a little tired, maybe I get on them. But otherwise, they, they do a pretty good job pushing themselves and coaching themselves, knowing what it takes to win at this level. We're going to flip it back over to the right side, starting in the third row here, if we can get a mic on the end. Ryan Sylvia, Rivals.com. Josiah, just how big was what Jemiah gave you in all facets of the game without Santi? I mean, Jemiah is huge. He's a cornerstone of this team. The effort and the things he brings on both ends of the floor is, it doesn't show up in the stat sheet all the time, but we know, and the guys in the locker room know what he brings is, you know, not many people in the country can do. We believe he's the best defender. The, these two next to me are the two best defenders in the country in their position for sure. They can guard one through five, two of the toughest guys I've ever been around. But what Jamai brings, it, it, it's hard to put into words. And it doesn't show up every night in the, in the stat sheet. But it's something that he's done his whole life and has gotten, up, gotten him to this point right now. We'll stay on the right side in the fifth row. Questions for the student athletes? Uh, John Sartori, WVLT TV. Jamai, when did you find out that you were going to be inserted into the starting lineup? And then to get this win for Santi and to give him a, a chance to play on Sunday, just what does that do for you guys and how much, how important was that? Um, I actually didn't, I didn't know until I think probably shoot around earlier today. I kind of had a feeling, but I, you know, I just wasn't sure. Um, but the, I mean, I've been, I've been raised to, to prosper in, in, in tough situations. And when my name is called to rise up to that occasion, I wouldn't be doing my job right now as a Christian if I didn't thank God and, and for everything that he's done for me individually and as this, uh, with this team. Because I just, ever since last year, I've been fighting to try and get past the Sweet 16, not just for me, but for my teammates, for Coach Barnes, just to see how much he puts into the team. And he doesn't want the publicity for it. Um, and that's something that, that I just love about our program, about, our, about my coach and my teammates. So. Um, you know, God has gotten me here. God has, has given me the ability to, to just go into any situation and, and try to make the best out of it. 
you know, my whole goal on this team is, is to impact winning. And if that means I got to start, I haven't started in a minute, but if that means I have to start and come in and do what I got to do, that's what I'm going to do. I'm, you know, I'm hurting, <laughs> my back hurts, I'm tired, but man, it's, it's anything to win, man. It's anything to win. And uh, I just, I, I love this team. And I just love how much we fought and how much we came together in times of adversity through that game. It just shows how much our character is, is going into play in this tournament. We're going to bring it back over to the left, right here on the end. Rich Butler, Rocky Top Insider. Zakai, just what was the plan of attack for the mid-range on offense tonight? Yeah, well, uh, we knew Trey Alexander going into the game that he was a really good mid-range shooter and that, you know, good players are going to get to the, they're going to get the ball, they're going to get to their spots, but we just got to do whatever we do to uh, stop them from making a shot, really. But I feel like we just went into the game with the right game plan and just everybody was locked in. We stay on the left, fourth row with Pat. Yeah. Pat Forty from Sports Illustrated for Josiah. Uh, the second half, you guys just hit him with defense, rebounding, kind of staples of what you guys have been about. Can you kind of walk through that effort that you put in there to, to kind of take control of the game? Yeah, I mean, you don't rise to the level or to the occasion you fall to the level of your preparation. And that's something, if you come and watch us 365 days of the year, those are the staples of our team, something that we do each and every day. And so in the biggest stage of college basketball where we're going to fall back to our habits, and those are our habits. You know, defense and rebounding are something that you can take, whether you're making shots, playing well on offense, being able to rebound the ball and guard people is 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 instrumental. And, and especially in a tournament like this, when shots, you know, may not be falling, and, you know, just having those as our backbone is huge. We'll stay on the left in the second row. For any of the players, uh, can you reflect on your logo to rim defense that just really made the difference? Jamal, you want to take that one? <laughs> uh, um, you know, I think that's just, just what we do. It's what we do, and it, I think it separates us as a team. Because, you know, guys think that early pressure is going to happen. It just happens with basketball. But to sustain that for as long as we do, that, that wears on teams. That wears on teams, trust me. When you have a guy like Zakai pressuring the ball and trying to get at it, and you got to worry about him still in the ball, him, him tipping passes, it's hard to run your offense. It's hard to get into your offense. And I think that that is um, something that can't be replaced or, or um, you know, it's something that we need on the court. So um, I think it's, it, it's great that we pressure the ball and, you know, that we're able to do that. But for as long as we, we do it, that's what separates us from, from you know, every other team is it, we sustain it. We'll bring it to the front row here on the left. Vinant Gupta, Global Media, Zakai, for you, you've been through so much adversity off the court to get to where you are today, and you play with so much heart. If you could reflect on the journey that it's taken to get to where you are right now, what can you say about that? And if, if you could even go back and tell yourself when you were going through adversity one thing, what would you say? Yeah, I would just say, uh, as of right now, I would just say God is great. You know, uh, he's given me these opportunities, and I've just taken as much advantage as I can of them. And, you know, uh, me and Coach G, we had a long talk uh, when I was going through the rehab process, and he was just saying it's going to be dark days, it's going to be ups, it's going to be downs, but I just got to keep my head down and work. And I feel like throughout this whole time, I just kept doing that, and I'm just so thankful to be in this position I am in today. Any other questions for the players? On the right side. Hey, Zakai, Danny Cap, Associated Press Broadcast. Um, if you can just speak to the way that 18-0 run uh, shaped the outcome of the game because uh, you guys were at that point uh, able to give yourself some cushion uh, and able to absorb their their comeback. Yeah, well, we just kept telling ourselves just to be uh, relentless. Uh, we were saying that before the game, just keep being relentless. And we understand that basketball is a game of runs. Going to be ups, going to be downs. And, you know, we went on our run, but getting back into the huddle, we kept telling ourselves, like, hey, uh, we just got to stay within the game, you know, uh, and just get back on defense and keep doing what we do. And I feel like we just did exactly that. Any other questions for the student athletes? Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. You can head back to the locker room. We'll continue here with Coach Barnes. We'll start on the front in row one. We can get a mic over there. How you doing, Coach? Uh, Terry Davis, Tri State Defender. Uh, this is a great game win. How do you? What do you tell your players to turn the page quickly so you can face a real tough Purdue team in a really, really tough environment? Well, one I wanted them to enjoy this one. I, I thought I'd, it was a really uh, a, an all-around team win. We had two freshmen that 
we started telling him today, he spent extra time in the film room, so you're going to play at some point in time. And I thought, again, Freddie had a great assist that got a three. Then Cam went in, uh, got, an, got a possession for us and knocked down a three. I thought those were huge plays. But, uh, um, you know, we played Purdue earlier in the year. We, you know, it was a, a loaded field in, in uh, Maui, Honolulu, and uh, hard fought game. It really was. And, and uh, but we'll, we'll get back at it with them. Uh, you know, I thought we were playing uh, Friday, Sunday, right? It's already Saturday, so we're in, in really playing Saturday, Sunday. But the fact is, and I just heard we got the early game, so. But right now, it's it's, it's a mental prep, and we know that. And uh, but um, again, we, we obviously have great respect for for, for doing. We we played them, but they're they're much better, and I like to think we are too. Let's stay here in the second row. Rob Lewis with BallQuest.com. Coach Tobey didn't have big stat line, but just how how important was he for you guys tonight, especially in that second half? Well, I thought Tobey and and Jemais and even uh, I, I guarantee when I watched the tape, uh, some of those tip out rebounds that Josiah got his hand on it. But those extra possessions are huge, especially there at the end and big big three point play. Uh, you know, we went to a empty ball screen and on the side, and uh, Z made the right read and. Uh, that was a big play for us, but it was his effort getting on the glass. And I, I thought, again, uh, both Shaq and when we switched off a few times on, on the big fella, you know, that they did their job holding the ground there. And But, um, again, Tobey has, has gotten better and better and better. And if you really think about it, you know, he and Zakai played on the same – come out of the same AAU program. And neither one of them were highly recruited, but uh, they both play with a lot of heart. And uh, we're just blessed and fortunate to have them. Thanks, Coach. We'll flip it over to the left side in the front row. Yeah, Rick, you hear Jemai say that we've been working all year to get past the Sweet 16 and have not been, you know, past this point with Tennessee yet. Do you take a moment to, to sit and enjoy this and, and see what this team's capable of? I'm not sure I'll be able to do it until we're finished. But, uh, you know, a year ago we felt we had a really good team, a, a team that could do some damage. And I'm as proud of, of that team a year ago because when Zakai went down, we had to totally remake ourselves. And uh, I'm not sure Shaq has started since that, where he was our starting point guard the last once Zakai went down, and uh, we got to the Sweet 16. And and uh, and they, from the time they came back, they they talked about it. You know that they wanted to get better, wanted to go further, and they're a close knit group of guys. They they uh, I really felt like in the last. After the SEC tournament, they have done a, just an incredible job of, of getting after each other and holding each other to a higher level, higher standard. And, uh, you know, I do my – I think I do my job getting after them, but it, it's a whole lot easier when they start getting at each other. And uh, it happened the other night in the game, uh, uh, you know, where Dalton was struggling a little bit and they snapped at him to try to snap him out of it. And then they talked to him again. I mean, when you get teams that care that much and can take – the coaching from each other, it's a good thing. And uh, that's where I can tell you the loss in the SEC tournament helped us. Thanks, Coach. Two more questions we're going to use right here in the second round. Larry Leach from the Associated Press. Uh, Dalton, at the beginning of that uh, second half, he had like six points, four assists. Um, Creighton called two timeouts. Can you reflect on his play in particular during that stretch? Well, uh, again, I thought, I thought he – Tonight he did more. He was trying to rebound the ball. You know, I thought he really got back where he. I thought, I thought he was really engaged defensively and not just thinking I got to score, score, score. And he, you know, when he gets that look and he's going with it, and I actually told him, you know, when you're in a ball screen, they're coming. You're going to have to let Z have some shots at it, and Z made a couple of them. But he, he's highly competitive. And then when he gets out, uh, our defense broke that game over early for us. We got deflections and got out and ran. You look at them. I mean, they're such an excellent position basketball team defensively. They don't uh, they don't foul as much as I was asking for them to be called. I mean, they don't they they just do a great they do a great job at poking at the ball. But um, they uh, but during that stretch, he he got it going, and obviously our guys have seen it when they do that. They're going to try to play to him. Josh Rush, fan sided. Um, you mentioned that three-point play near the end of the game, just under two minutes left. Um, you guys didn't seem to have any fear of Kalkbrenner and his size. Is that something that was part of the game plan, to go right after him? You blocked him a couple times on the defensive end. And I know it's obviously early, but do you think that will carry over to the Purdue matchup with Edie? You know, every game, every team is different, and it will be a, a different 
uh, something uh, again once we go back and start digging into it but uh you know, they, we worked really hard on, on drop coverage uh, where they drop it because we knew we were going to get shots, and we had to decide, do we want to pull up behind and shoot the three? Do we want to get inside? The, and, and all I ask them to do, if you're open behind the screen, I, we expected those two guys to shoot at Zakai and, and, and Dalton. But if not, I said, get inside the 15-foot area to engage them, and from there you got to make the right decision. And uh, whether it's a floater or whatever it is, got to shoot it with uh, – with with uh, confidence, and then uh, Tobey got a couple where we said you the post guys got to get to the rim, and uh, then defensively uh, we we weren't going to double team him. Uh, I thought they were really well prepared to start of the game. We wanted to try to you know get after him with a we we uh, very first play of the game, and we had talked about doubling the ball, and they came off and it's boom boom boom, and I looked I said we're not going to be able to do that, and they were so good at it. But we adjusted to it, and again, they're they're so hard to guard because uh, Greg is such a, a great basketball coach, and he puts them in position. And but we also wanted pace. We wanted to we wanted a high tempo game. We felt because they they you know they have been playing a lot of guys forty minutes, uh, and uh, we did. We wanted to try to early get up and down the floor and get it, get into a high possession game. Coach, thanks so much for your time. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, thank you guys.